bust in Pasco County leads authorities right to a man Aid on Your Side has been investigating for years. We're talking about a meth ring with connections from Mexico to a California prison. News Channel H's Jeff Jeffrey Patterson joining us right now. He's live from Orlando Lakes neighborhood. This has been directly impacted by this raid, Jeff. Yeah, good evening, Keith. Pasco County deputies knocked down the door of this home in Land Lakes in early March and arrested Al Grabowski. That arrest shocked neighbors, but eight on your side has run into Alfred Joseph Grabowski before. This place was all filled with cops. Angel Amengual saw the sheriff's deputies across the street and couldn't believe his neighbor was being arrested. Well, this doesn't happen over here. This neighborhood is, is, is actually a pretty quiet neighborhood. Deputies and DEA agents raided Al Grabowski's home in connection with the distribution ring of meth. I'm surprised, and uh, it just goes to show you never know who your neighbors are. Phil Flaherty and many of his neighbors once knew Grabowski because of his pest control company. And Three times it was, we'll be out there, and they never showed up. In 2011, eight on your side, Shannon Bacon investigated Grabowski and his company, First Class Pest Solutions, after more than 100 people filed complaints. First Class Pest Solutions has the most complaints in its industry. The investigation led to criminal prosecution. First Class Pest Solutions was anything but, and it was shut down. Undercover deputies tell us uh, Grabowski turned Lopez, to dealing meth uh, and brought danger to this quiet neighborhood. Mr. Grabowski had his door barricaded. He had, you know, weapons in the house. He was prepared for someone to kick his door and do some damage. Deputies shut down the drug ring. Incredibly, they discovered the ring leader is a California prison inmate. We know he's on a phone inside a California prison for 18 hours a day conducting drug operations. Deputies seized 16 pounds of meth, guns, and cash. These people sell drugs, and what they sell kill people. Incredible, isn't it? That one detective had his face covered because he's still working undercover, and we're not revealing his identity for obvious reasons. Sheriff Nako told me that this drug raid got more than 25,000 doses of meth off the street, Keith. And that is a big deal, and what a twist. I mean, the guy running the whole shebang is in a California prison. It's like an episode of The Wire or something. Thank you. Yeah. Jeff Patterson, live in Land O'Lakes.